Hi, welcome to Thrive Personal Fitness. I'm Pamela Hernandez, your guide on the journey to health and fitness. Today I'm going to talk about a topic that I discuss a lot with my clients, and that is the meal plan versus the food log. When we start working together, I ask my clients, prospective clients, to keep a three-day food journal. That gives me an idea of where they're at, so I can customize their program and start at the level that they're at. But as time goes on, sometimes uh, they start questioning about doing a meal plan and what's the benefit of that versus a food log and why do we do the food log. And so I wanna talk a little bit about that, your meal plan, which is your proactive approach, versus the food log, which is more of a, a reactive approach. The real ultimate answer is the one that's gonna work best for you. But there's benefits and drawbacks to both. Um, with a food log, it's very easy to start in the beginning. Sometimes it's just understanding what you're eating and why you're eating it. Not even necessarily worrying about calories, just getting a handle on the kinds of foods that you're gravitating towards. And so that's where I start with my beginners because we just need to understand food and patterns and what needs to come out and what needs to come into your daily diet. Now, of course, on the negative side of that, uh, a food log, you can easily, if you're not paying attention, end up by three o'clock in the afternoon exceeding your calorie goal. It's, it's reactive. It's trying to fix things after the fact. Now, a meal plan is more proactive. You sit down either the day before or for a whole week if you're really that organized and plan out what you're gonna eat so that you know what you've allocated is the right amount for your body and your goals. And it can save you a lot of thinking. If I get up tomorrow, I know I'm gonna have a certain thing for breakfast and a certain thing for lunch, and I don't have to necessarily think so much. It takes the decision-making out of it when you might be extra stressed or extra hungry. You just go on autopilot. You can then kind of count backwards. You know how many calories you're supposed to eat in the day, and you just kind of fill that up. So if you're really organized and you like a more proactive approach, the meal plan's for you. Now, it does take more time. You do have to stop and think about it, a week ahead of time or the day ahead of time or three days ahead of time. So it does take a little more time up front, which is sometimes the challenge for people. So there's pluses and minuses to both approaches, but I'm gonna say beginners, just start with your food log. Just start understanding what you're eating, what your habits are, and finding those little things that you need to change. Then as it becomes more part of your day, Daily meal planning or weekly meal planning is something you can work towards. Once you've sort of put together some standard meals, standard breakfast, lunch that you like to eat. So that's meal planning versus keeping a food log. If you've got a question you'd like me to answer in an upcoming video blog, you can send me an email. Send to ask at thrivepersonalfitness.com or you can post your question to my wall on Facebook. Go to facebook.com slash thrivepersonalfitness or you can send me a tweet. Go to twitter.com slash thrivefit. Thanks for watching today. Remember, every journey starts with the first step, and we'll talk again soon.